Hello, it's Linda here. Um, I have a new Facebook page called Papercraft with Crafty and on there I will be putting up all of my tutorials. Um, this one today I'm going to do um, and show you is for this lovely self-close box which was I first saw demonstrated here on YouTube by Karen Howell who is a lovely stamping up demonstrator who also goes under the YouTube channel of Tuppence Coloured and I believe she has a blog also well she does have a blog also called Tuppence Coloured and she posted up a tutorial for this particular box um, sadly there were sound issues and um, I just think that was such a shame for her because I know all of the effort and the time that goes into putting these projects together on YouTube. Um, so that was disappointing for her, but she did rectify it. Um, she did put a diagram on, on her blog, which was linked to her um, YouTube video. Um, and using that, I was able to um, follow, which I think are quite clear instructions really, on how to um, put this together. So I'm going to do my version of it today um, and hope that the sound quality of this behaves itself. Um, so I'm going to pop that to one side and um, show you how it's made. I'm using Karen's um, dimensions as well for this, which is a piece of cardstock. This is Sahara Sand cardstock by Stamping Up, and this piece measures eight and a half inches by six. And with your long side of the cardstock along the top of your scoreboard, you want to score at four inches, and you want to score at eight inches. Okay, I've already done this, but I'm just going to um, just go through it with you. Then turning your card and putting the short side along the top, you want to score at one inch and you want to score at five inches. And then with the cardstock facing you and with this narrow margin on to the left of you, put your cardstock back in and you want to score at the two inch mark just down to that first score line. Okay, so just score at the two inch mark and you also want to score at the six inch mark. Okay, so that's some of the scoring done. Um, just to help you see a little bit more clearly, I've gone ahead and at these points, the two inch mark that we just scored and at the, um, what was it, the six, I put some dots. Um, and on the centre of this bottom score line here, I've put a dot and I've also got one here just on this um, side panel. Hopefully you can see that. And I'm going to use those now as a guide to do a little bit of scoring. Okay, so I'm going to leave my cardstock here on the board. Grab my scoring tool and not a pen. <laughs> and I'm just going to score from that corner dot to the central dot there. And then back down to this dot like that and we want to go back up like that and then you just want to make the final score line which is down there like that okay so in effect you've got like a zigzag of score lines in the middle of the card Oops. I'm going to cut out some light and that might help you a bit more. There. Okay, so now you're ready to um, just do some cutting. So you want to snip up this central line. You've got a little rectangle here on the end. You can get rid of that. And then cut a little wedge here like that because this will help the box when it closes. And you also want to get rid of that little rectangle and then you just want to cut up these three score lines on this side of the cardstock like that okay so when you've done all that you're ready to use your bone folder and do some creasing okay so just go ahead 
the score all off the diagonals. And then all of the edges. So that's what your cardstock now looks like. Okay, so to decorate mine, I have decided to use um, this beautiful uh, car, um, designer series paper. It's actually called, I'm lousy, I've got terrible memory, Something Borrowed. It's the Something Borrowed designer series paper, um, which are, they're all double sided. And they're very, very attractive. And they're all in Sahara sand, so they do match this cardstock perfectly. I took myself a little piece here and I cut it at three and three quarter inch squared. And that's just three and three quarters on all sides. Now, to decorate the box, you want to make sure that your pattern is not upside down. Okay, so with the pattern the right way up, flip your card over. What you need to do is mark on your scoreboard like this. Turn your card upside down or the, the paper stock upside down and you want to just draw yourself a little dot at the um, one and seven eighths point here on your card stock. Okay, one and seven eighths of an inch. And then all you need to do is like I've done using that dot there as a guide you want to draw yourself a line down to this corner and a line down to this corner so you've got a little triangle and then you just need to cut that out And you're going to use all three of these. Now, I'm not decorating the back of this box, but if you wish to decorate the back of the box, you'll need two of those squares and you'll need to do exactly the same on the other piece. But I'm just going to be doing the front of my box just for the purpose of um, speed and getting this done in a timely fashion. And I'm just going to quickly run some double sided tape down here. Um, I'm sure. A lot of you will be using um, fast fuse or something like that, which is a lot quicker, but I just don't get on with it. So, just try and do this as quickly as I can. Just so you get a picture, really. I'll just run a bit down there. Okay. I'm sure you'll be taking a lot more care than me, but uh, this is just to get the um, tutorial done as quickly as I can. I can't bear to think of people sitting at home and getting bored. So, waiting for the next bit. So, just sticking that centrally on that little triangular panel there, or as central as I can do. Okay. I think it's really pretty, this paper. just want to put the other two little triangular panels on like that okay so they're on whilst we're at it just run a strip of um, double sided tape down that edge like that and then I'm just going to punch out a pretty little top to my card. So I'm just going to take this punch, 
try and do it as centrally as I can, equally on both sides. Let's get rid of that in a minute. Well, I didn't do that very well, so I'm just going to do that bit again. <laughs> Dear, let me try again. I do find these fiddly. That's a bit better. Oh dear. Let's just see if I can rectify that. Oh, that's better. Don't do that at home, people. And then you just want to do the same on the other side and hopefully you do it properly this time. in. Use that. Oh, there we go. That will do. Okay, so that's quite pretty. And then we just want to whip that tape off. And stick the box together. Okay, so now you've got a nice pretty top to your box. And then you're ready to just stick the bottoms. Now, for the bottom, just about matches, um, meets up. There's a very slight gap there, so you could actually cut yourself a little square and, and just cover that gap. But um, I'm just going to quickly stick this down. What have I done with my double-sided tape? <laughs> Okay, so like I said, you just want to stick that together like that. Some of you might be bothered by that, I'm not. I think it does, it's not too much of a gap. And then you just want to put your bone folder inside and just press around the bottom so that you know it's stuck nice and solidly. Okay, so that's, that's the, the box formed and just need to embellish it a bit now. Right, so to embellish it, I've decided to use my itty bitty butterfly punch that does come with a coordinating stamp set which is really really pretty um, I've got a little bit of whisper white cardstock here um, I've also got some um, some little jewel basic rhinestones I, I will be just adding a bit, little bit of sparkle to the bag okay so I'm just going to punch out a couple of butterflies Like I say, just add a little bit of sparkle to them. Like that. Okay. Just going to bend their wings, give them a little bit of dimension there. And then I have got here some dimensionals. And just going to snip off a couple of these edge edges and use them. 
going to need a great big bit, not for these. So, pop that on the back. Pop that on there like that. And do that one. Oh, they're pretty. Um, and a bit of ribbon, I think, for around the top here. Yeah, so I just want to measure that out. Um, let's have a look. Just want that to tuck around. So, just going to put some of this down the side, not all the way, just about halfway along that edge and halfway along the other edge and I'll do the same on the back. This is the fiddly bit, isn't it? Getting the double sided tape off can be such a drag sometimes. It wasn't too painful this time. Okay, so just want to make sure I'll put that on the back so it doesn't show. Oh dear, rip my card, stop. <laughs> like I said, I'll put it on the back and hope nobody noticed that. Okay, bring that round like so and just finish off with a bit here. Let's see if I can get that off now. Okay. And I'll just neaten up the ribbon. Okay, so that's on there like that. And I wasn't brave enough to do a bow on, on camera this time, but I'm just going to finish my box off with a little bow there. Um, I've left my glue dot upstairs, so I'll just stick it on with a bit of double-sided tape just to finish it off. And I can't get it off now. Just bear with me. I will get there in the end. There we go. Okay. Managed to peel that off. And I'm just literally going to stick my bow centrally on the top there. And that is my version of Karen Howe's very lovely self closed box. Um, I think they're really lovely, really nice idea. I just like the fact that it closes itself. You don't have to worry about tucking anything in. Um, you know, it's a really nice box. I hope that you've um, managed to follow that tutorial and didn't get too impatient with me. <laughs> um, and have a go. Um, like I said, I will be posting this up to my paper craft with crafty page um, and on there you will find some of my other tutorials um, and in fact I am going to be posting um, a follow-up tutorial because I've made my version mini version of the self closed box um, I've made this one and I thought I would run a tutorial on this one as well. I'm calling this my wedding favour box. My son got engaged last week. Um, so I'm coming up with little ideas that I think they might possibly like as wedding favours. This being one of them. Um, so yeah, there will be another tutorial for the reduced size box. 
um, with a little bit of um, embossing as you can see here with um, silver embossing powder anyway thank you very much for watching this video um, and uh, I'll be back later bye bye